All right, him, her, it, or they have struck again. Let me show you the damage. Step up on this stump. Look at this. Classic potential Bigfoot Sasquatch activity. This has been going on for years. This is how they communicate. This is one of the ways they communicate with me. This is how they say, hey, come back out and play. Oh, okay. You want me to come back out and play, brah? Here I come. I'm on my way. Get my six. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the most awesomest homesteading channel on the entire internet that has absolutely nothing to do with homesteading. Let me tell you what it has to do with today. One week ago today, we captured amazing Bigfoot Sasquatch footage on film, okay? You've seen the video. <clears throat> a couple nights ago, I came out, I did a night hunt with a brand new light that I was given. Something disoriented me. I was out for God only knows how long, but the light still worked, thank God. Okay, then last night, as I slept, him, her, it, or they came again, pushed over my wood pile. For the faithful who've been watching the greatest homesteading channel on the internet for years that has nothing, of course, to do with homesteading, you know this is one of the ways they communicate with me. They say, hey, let's play. All right, so since coming back from the Philippines with Dr. Brewhouse, which is the nickname I've given uh, Detecto de Brujas, which is Spanish for witch detector because this sword can. Okay, it seeks out paranormal and supernatural and cryptozoological activity, but listen, I believe him, her, it, or they may have deemed it as a threat. So I'm not taking this with me today. I'm gonna to leave it right here because you heard the knocks. Potentially, we're being watched right now by that or those whom or which are expecting us to join them in the forest. So I want them to see I am not taking this sword given to my Filipino grandfather by his great, great Spanish grandfather who was a conquistador in the Spanish army during the occupation of Spain in the Philippines. That's staying right there. Him and her, it or they, see that I am unarmed. Let me show you what I am taking though, aside from you know, wearing my classic Bigfoot Sasquatch hunting field outfit. Let me show you what else I'm taking. Waters, of course, you gotta stay hydrated. It's, it's gonna be an all dayer. I mean, it's not even noon yet right now as I'm starting to film this because I wanna make sure I don't get stuck out there in the dark with that thing. But just in case I do, They're saying, hurry up, here I am, come and get me. I'm coming, brah, but we're taking that new light that works great, but we're kicking it old school, too. We're kicking it old school. Check it out. We're taking the blue rectangles and the red circles. Yeah, brah, we're going prepared. Okay, listen. And two fruits of two different types of fruits. Why? One for me. The one for him, her, it, or they to show this is like a peace offering. I mean you no harm just because I brought back this 10th generation family heirloom. I didn't mean it as a threat. So stop threatening me with your knock, you know, knocking over my wood piles and stop zapping me and making me pass out in the woods at night. Okay, it's time to get back into a peaceful relationship with these creatures. So, with no further ado, as my beautiful bride dearly, AKA Giggly Girl would say, after I pack my goodies back in my backpack, let's go do this thing. Let's go get him, her, it, or they. Let's get up close and personal. Okay, see if we can get them on film yet again, again. Kinda, kinda gonna need this camera to get him on camera. All right, let's go. Okay, guys. 
probably tell about as hard as I'm breathing that we've been walking for about an hour now. We're almost to the top of the mountains, but we're very close to where just one week ago from this recording, we actually captured him, her, it, or they on video, okay? We're very close, so I've got my potential Bigfoot Sasquatch field research tools out. I don't have the entire kit with me here, which by the way is available from our Etsy store, Homestead Haven. The link is in the description box below. So, but just in the last couple hundred yards or so, I began to feel as if I'm being followed by someone or something. And isn't it great that now that we have a high speed connection at my house, I can actually upload these videos in 1080 high definition, leaving no doubt for those who has asked so many questions. No doubt, there, there no doubt remains because it's all HD now. We're catching him, her, it, or they in high definition. So, now listen, it's a bit windy out here today, so I'm gonna stop and scan. Remember, if you're new to the channel, when I hold up the blue rectangle, that means potentially there's a Bigfoot Sasquatch in there somewhere. And then it's, I dropped my red circle. Did you see that? It went behind the tree. Right there, right there, right there. Where's my tool? Oh my gosh. It's rendering me defenseless. You're gonna have to chalk that up as a loss, guys. Gosh, and those, construction paper cutouts are like this stuff's like three dollars for a pack of a hundred pieces and i can only get four circles out of one piece so that's 400 circles for four they're a penny each i just lost the equivalency of a penny um but don't be like trying to figure out profit margins it's the marketing that is so expensive yeah it's gone it's like it disappeared all right, so I'm not gonna be able to pinpoint out exactly where him, her, it, or is, him, her, it, or they are, so you must watch. Get my six, timestamp it if you see it. I put the triangle, oh, that's not a triangle. Come on, come on, come on. Gosh, I failed kindergarten. Rectangle, I put that back in my pocket. So you've gotta watch so closely. I can't afford to lose another potential Bigfoot Sasquatch re research tool out here doing this because they're zapping me with their, their, their zappy stuff. But I feel I'm being followed. We saw something duck behind a tree. We're getting even closer. So keep watching. Let's do a slow pan here. See what we may or may not be able to see. Guys, this is the spot. It, it zapped the red circle out of my hand. That was a fly. offering peace offering there's a stream right up here and there's a bench I've got one on the right above me and I've got one down here below me I'm gonna to go to the bench and offer fruit and offer fruit but I feel like there's something over this way too are they telling me is that one watch look look They're everywhere. Do you see it walking back there? Oh my god. Let me reverse the camera. Right 
right there. Center screen, did you see that? Did you see it? It was center screen, I, zo I zoomed in. Guys, they are everywhere, everywhere. There's only gonna be one way out of here safely. I mean, they're all around us. We had one down here, one behind us. I, I reversed the camera and we had one in front of us taking cover. I'm gonna have to go up here and make a peace offering. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the most Bigfoot Sasquatch, potentially. Potential, it's the most potential Bigfoot Sasquatch footage we've ever captured. Not just on one video, but within like a two minute window. This is insane. Let's go up here and offer him, her, it, or they some fruit and water in, in the hopes that they let us out of this potential Bigfoot Sasquatch infested forest alive. Keep getting my six. Guys, as you can see, we've safely made it to this beautiful stream. You can hear the babbling brook. Listen, there's only one way we're going to safely make it out of this potentially. Whoa, there's no potential about it. How many have we already seen here on video? Some behind me, some in front of me, some downhill, some above me. So continue to watch. Continue to stay weird because listen it's those who they call weird crazy and insane who go out and make these these awesome discoveries okay if you care about what other people think about you you will not succeed and you'll never know joy which is different than happiness happiness is an emotion felt based upon the results uh, or the outcome of an event like, if you're a Clemson fan, as of this recording, you're happy because they beat the number one ranked Arizona last night in the Sweet 16 to advance. Okay, so that makes you happy. But joy is a continuous state where you feel fulfilled, content, signs of happiness, and that only comes from being yourself and being who you are. And for me, it's a potential Bigfoot Sasquatch guy. Okay, so, one for, for me, one for him, her, it, or they. One for me, one for him, her, it, or they, okay? So I'm gonna gift them this fruit right here. And I now invite any potential Bigfoot Sasquatch that may or may not be in, in this area and I know you're here, don't try to hide. I caught you twice definitively moving and a couple of times potentially being stationary. I now invite you to, to eat some delicious fruit with me. I have a delicious mandarin and a delicious banana, okay? I mean you no harm. Forget about that artifact I, bought, I brought back from the, the Philippines. That's for the ghosts and demons and witches and stuff, not you guys. And that dog man. This fruit is yours. Okay, so guys, I sat there on that bench by that beautiful babbling brook and ate fruit for about 15 minutes. No potential Bigfoot Sasquatch came to join me in eating that fruit, but I left it there as a gift, okay? Do you hear that? It was a tree knock. 
listen, as I was getting my camera off my tripod, uh, putting everything away, I saw movement. It was about the same distance away from me as the movement that we recorded on camera just 20 minutes maybe before that. I followed it. I didn't start the camera. I followed whatever this thing is making its way up the hillside to this point. I stopped, just started recording again, and you heard the tree knock. So it's as if it's trying to lead me somewhere and I'm following. I'm going to reverse the camera and let's see where that takes us. Okay. That's not a roar, that's an airplane. You hear above me. We're on top of the mountain. We're close to the airplanes up here. Wow, that looks like a cave over there, doesn't it? Check that out, but I saw the thing kind of come around this way. So, yeah, that's definitely some kind of cave. Let's go check that out. But remember, we never know who or what may or may not be watching us. What is, what's that? Look at that. Wow, what the heck is that? There's some sort of, looks like maybe a deer trail. Could be a Bigfoot Sasquatch trail, but look at this. Wow, look at that. I've never seen anything like this. Are they gifting us? Did they view? my gift of the fruit as a peace offering and is this their way of accepting this is look at this this is like an old bottle probably somebody dropped left in the woods somewhere that's certainly not a modern bottle and it's been here long enough for moss to take root in there and grow but clearly it didn't happen here because there's moss there guys i think this is a gift from bigfoot sasquatch potentially let's go check out that cave you know the leaves aren't back on the trees yet it's the end of march is that a mimic that, that sounds like a palliated woodpecker but as we know these things can mimic birds and that's another way they communicate with each other is that their way of saying he's getting closer There's a buck rub, look at that. It's from a deer last fall during the rut. Oh, there's a cave. Wow. Guys, you gotta be careful sneaking up on these caves in the winter because this is the type of place where bears hibernate. All right, I don't see any bears. Oh, oh my God, what is that? my Filipino grandfather's great great Spanish grandfather's sword there's a track oh my god did you hear that go oh. What the hell? I'm in the woods and it's night.
山。Guys, the last thing I remember is eating fruit on a bench by a stream. Do you hear that? I was eating fruit. I remember I invited him, her, it, or they to join me for fruit, and then that's it. I don't know where. I feel disoriented. I feel really disoriented. Guys, I, I'm going to walk for a while and try to find my sense of direction. I feel so disoriented right now. I'll start recording again once I kind of have a, a better idea of where I'm going. Okay. sense of where I am and if I'm right I'm about half an hour away from my house thank god there's no clouds in the sky and I'm able to read the ridge lines but I keep hearing footsteps in all directions around me I'm in the woods after dark disoriented and surrounded this might not have been one of my best ideas listening for traffic, trying to get an idea of maybe where a road might be. I hear plenty of frogs, but there's plenty of mountain streams around here. I might have to try to find one and follow it. I know I got to just keep going down the mountain, but it sure would help if I could hear a car. But I'm completely out here in the middle of nowhere. steps I hear something else walking either to my left or my right behind me above me Bones. It's like a hip bone of a deer. Oh You'd have to be pretty daggone big to eat a deer. Oh, the wind's picking up, guys. Did you hear that owl? Oh my 
my God, something's coming. I ran for 20 minutes. What was that? It's a tree knock. I gotta keep going. Guys, good news. I did hear a couple of cars and I started going in the direction of the cars and I'm starting to recognize where I am. I'm, I'm not far from home, but I heard another howl. So slowly but surely I'm getting there. See my house as I am right now. Oh my god. Oh. Wait a minute. Where's this? Where's my Filipino grandfather's great great Spanish grandfather's sword? I thought I left it here. This is where I tell the stories and start the videos. Oriented and confused. Again, I have no memory of anything that happened after that. That uh, sitting there on the bench eating fruit with him, her, it, or they, and inviting them to eat with me. That's not I shine down there. That's my house. Oh my gosh! My wife is gonna kill me if I don't find that sword. I left it there so him, her, it, or they wouldn't deem anything I was doing today as a threat. I offered them fruit. Oh my gosh, my wife's gonna be upset. I've been out all freaking day. Some more light here. There. This is an awesome light. Tested it out the other day in a video on a night hunt, actually. Yeah, this really lights the field up better now. These work lights are only $23.99. I'll put the link to where you can get, get one from Amazon in the description box. Ah, oh, there's my overgrown garden. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I don't know what happened today. There's a wood I'm splitting. I don't feel as disoriented now as I did. I still feel a little bit lightheaded, but that's probably because I haven't eaten anything but a banana and an orange since about two in the afternoon. Oh, oh pardon the mess. Everybody's got that one spot, right? Oh my goodness, here we are, my back porch. Oh. There's my Filipino grandfather's great great Spanish grandfather's sword. How did it get here on my porch? What are these strange marks? And what in the heck is this? What is this? Moss in a bottle? Well, that's pretty neat. Maybe somebody made that for me and dropped it off, but hey, I'm not in trouble. Here's the, the sword. No idea how it got there unless. 
dearly went up there after I left and went hiking and she saw it and brought it down, but I'll ask her, I find out. Maybe I'll get some answers as I go through the video and uh, maybe piece some things together. So, oh my gosh, I got it. Thanks for being here for another video from the most awesomest homesteading channel on the entire planet that has absolutely nothing to do with homesteading. Homesteading off the grid. Uh, I gotta get something to eat. See you for more next time.